Hello, welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy video. I'm here in Epping Forest on a Tweedy outdoors outing and doing a bit of cooking over there. And I brought along with me some Gevrey Chambertin. This is more from Joseph Roti. And this is the 2019 vintage this time. The last one was the 2017 vintage, which I thought was excellent doing everything I wanted it to. So uh, welcome to my woodland wine bar. As I always say, why do people pay for wine bars? Makes no sense to me. Is this not vastly superior to any wine bar? Certainly no competition for tables. There are no tables. <laughs> Just sit on the ground. Stand up. Sorry for all the clanking noises. <laughs> Handy place to store a glass. So that, like the 2017, has a sort of darkish colour, darkish ruby sort of hue to it. Let me um, free up my hands for a moment. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, what is this doing for us? Oh. Pretty similar on the nose to how I remember that 2017 being initially. Dense, rich cherry. Once again, I feel like I'm getting a hint of cocoa powder. I must be going mad. But I'm predicting I was going to say this somehow feels kind of fresher and newer but it's still got a kind of a, a richness to it a richness that the 2017 had i uh, presumably from age and that's pretty present here as well lovely concentration and intensity to that i'm probably saying all the same things again aren't i that i was saying for the 2017. oh that is really luxurious i think getting a little bit more of a tannic feel to that but that isn't detracting from the rest of it very concentrated very silky very intense lovely acidity really concentrated cherry character on the palate oh that is really a delight i think the only real difference from memory between this and the 2017 is it's a little bit more of a sort of papery tannic feel to it mm. but that is that is gorgeous it's really good i often think 2017 and 2019 are similar sort of vintages i feel like both of them were ready quite early both of them deliver this lovely sort of freshness and elegance in the grapes. I wonder when the next 2017, 2019 will be. I don't know if that's a character that comes every other year in Burgundy. I'm certainly not getting hints of that from 2021 from what I've seen of it so far. Hopefully there's still decent stocks of 2019 of various different wines to enjoy for the time being at least. Really good. Condensed, concentrated, powerful, very fruity. It's beautiful. Really like that. Cheers.